about um, 47,000 square feet, and we have uh, 27, 28 employees. Oh, that's a, that's a how many how many pieces of things do you have here? I think we have uh, an inventory about uh, 15,000 separate pieces of things. What kinds of uh, customers do you get? Set decorators, art directors, uh, production designers. From what area? All over LA? Uh, all over, everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. Yeah. The we, country. We ship, we ship out of the country. Do you anything to Canada? Uh, we, yes, we've done a couple of films in Canada. You know, semi loads of, of uh, items to Canada, as a matter of fact. As a matter of fact, the space shuttle went to uh, Canada. Oh, that's right. To Toronto. John, what do we have here? Uh, this is a prop uh, that we built a number of years ago. and uh, I was just thinking, I wondered what uh, James Bond might do if he was in his country house and had to communicate with Q section. So uh, we came up with this. Yeah. Oh, I love it, I love it. You could have brought him up a cigarette. <laughs> if it were then, not now. My gosh, that's lovely. That's lovely. Could he be sitting with, uh, would he just talk right into it? Uh, I, I guess didn't, he could. I didn't go that far. I, I, I guess he could. It's so, it's so beautiful. And of course, the different titles of books are running down. What else have we got here? I think, oh, before we go to what else, yes. the biggest challenge you've ever faced as far as a movie's concerned. Uh, I think simply when we have a lot of challenges in one movie, like when we did things like, say, um, Star Trek uh, Wrath of Khan, we had so much to do. We did a, the whole Genesis lab. We did uh, almost all the hand props, the communicators, the tricorders. Uh, a big job. Big job. And how much lead time would you get on all that? Mm, not really that much. Maybe two months. Oh, boy. Mm. What next did you get? What other miracle can you bring up? Let's see. Here's a little... Here's a little computer. <laughs> so. It's the, uh, the, the miracle of light, isn't it? And design. You see? Really... So oh, it's a, a, a gadget, a prop for... Yeah, so it was computer. to be more of a futuristic yeah. idea, yeah. Mm -hmm. The cord would be hidden and... Uh... What's the green look like? Can you bring it around a bit? Mm -hmm. Oh, isn't that something? That's, got, that's marvelous. That really is. It's got a ghostly powder to it. I'm hungry for more, sir. Uh, here we have a couple of um, microscopes. This was um, sort of a, our idea of a miniature ele electron microscope. Uh, 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 uh. And this one would be a manual binocular scope. Again, for some futuristic scene. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, not so far in the future, just sort of... Uh, Sort of now, and yeah, a, bit tomorrow, a little, yeah. little, little further than now, perhaps. Yeah. Uh, now, to do the design of that, which you would do, I presume you design these things, mm -hmm. don't you? Uh, what would you use? A, 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 a contemporary machine, and then create, build on we that. We start off with microscope parts on these, and then we we start machining, and uh, we we follow our drawings and uh, come up with this. Now, in this particular piece, we use uh, the head from this machine is uh, from a. Um, uh, a Japanese, uh, a very small Japanese television set, the rest of it we built. How about something sort of futuristic, very futuristic? A probe. A probe? <laughs> oh, that's marvelous. That really is. What about those objects there? They look explosive to me. Th in fact, it is. Uh, it's supposed to be. Uh, this was created, uh, I had been reading a lot of reports over the last couple of years about what would happen if uh, terrorists got their hands on uh, a fissionable material and created a, uh, a little A-bomb or... Uh, <laughs> good question, good supposition. So, yeah, we came up with this. We tried to get some help from uh, the Army and the Air Force, and they were very uptight about uh, even the possibility, <laughs> let alone giving us a sketch or what it might look like. So I kind of came up with this myself, and this is... Um, we, we built four of them. Oh, okay. And they're always uh, they're always rented out. As a matter of fact, two of them are gone right now. Yeah, any kind of futuristic thriller, I'll tell you. I'm sure the designers um, would want one. Here's a little little hand prop. Again, it's uh, what, how would it be? Oh, to speak to somebody, would it be? Well, whatever they want to do. Yeah, with it, detect really. the presence of somebody in it. But this was um, uh, the PKE meter from Ghostbusters. Um, Let's see. 
operates like this. As you're approaching a ghost, the wings go out, the lights start flashing. <laughs> and as you get very close to the ghost, the, um, the wings go all the way out. Oh, is that great? Ghostbusters. Mm -hmm. Ghostbusters. Yes, I remember. I remember the use of it. That was a very funny film. One of our Canadians made it. Ivan Reitman. Joe Metric. That's great. Mm -hmm. What is this? Oh, this this like was a uh, Newcomb game from Robocop. Uh, the, they cut to a commercial. With the commercial is actually part of the film, and there's a family playing this this game, which is um, the Newcomb game. Oh. And there's some various mm. controls, and there's some hidden controls for the actors. I, did, I didn't see Robocop, but I can imagine from what I heard. Mm -hmm. it's a, it's almost like it looks like a chess game. And those were a few guests exploring various aspects of our theme this evening. I look forward to more amazing visual tricks from these gentlemen.